so a little early still about uh, 15 minutes before park opening but we are inside of Darien Lake me and Al on Father's Day both of our very first time to Darien Lake this should be pretty cool we're gonna get to ride the original Superman the one that has a whole bunch of straight track but this time featuring special guest water that should be pretty cool so uh, yeah most exciting today I think it's probably for Allie to get to ride the Zamperla uh, motorbike coaster. Uh, us to hop on Moose on the Loose. And I am really excited to ride Predator. I want to see that GCI Titan track and get a ride on that. I'm always a fan of some classic Charles Din coasters. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and Curtis Summers, too. Don't want to forget him. He's pretty important in this equation. So far, relatively positive impressions. The park seems pretty well maintained. There are some uh, retail facades that could use being redone, but all in all, so far, so good. Six Flags Darien Lake. Located in Darien Center, New York. This is Clay with the Pennsylvania Roller Coaster Club. And today, we're going to take a peek at the roller coaster lineup at Six Flags Darien Lake. And then we're going to rank them from worst to first. So, before we dive into the coaster rankings, if you're familiar with the channel, let's talk geography. Now, you'll notice uh, the little dot on the map. That is uh, Darien Lake in Darien Center. It is just about a 20, maybe 25 minute drive to the east of Buffalo and about 35 minutes to the east of Niagara Falls. It is a pretty beautiful part of the country if you haven't been. But let's talk coasters. Starting at number eight, Hoot and Holler. Now, again, not exactly the target demographic for the channel, but what I will say, much like any other family coaster or kids coaster, it is imperative to the lineup. You have to have something to get the junior thrill seeker interested in roller coasters and Hoot and Holler fits that bill. But moving on, number seven, Boomerang. Now, uh, as boomerangs go, this is one of them. And it's not that good. Um, you know, actually, I was considering ranking this boomerang below Hoot and Holler, but, um, you know, we decided to go with the adult coaster to be one step ahead. Not very good, not very enjoyable. Probably one you could skip if you have a ton of boomerang credits. Number six, Viper. Now, guys, this is an Arrow classic. Um, Viper is, uh, it's old and it is janky and it's great um you know I, I don't know maybe i'm in a, a very rare group and small category of people but i really love old arrow loopers um you know it's probably just has to do with my age the time frame in which i grew up and the fact that pretty much every world-renowned roller coaster at the time was made by arrow development and, um, you know, when I rode Viper, I had zero expectations. I, I didn't think that I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be very rough. Um, and, you know, half of that was true. It was pretty rough, but I did like it. But number five, Moto Coaster. Uh, as I said in the introduction part to this video, this is the ride that I was most excited for Allie to get to get on. Um, after being able to ride a couple different installations of this make and model from Zamperla, uh, I was excited to, to get Allie's reaction, get her take. Uh, both of us have ridden quite a few launch coasters at this point, and I have actually started to, to grow an appreciation and an affinity for the uh, family-style launch coasters that have tire drives. So uh, Allie did like it, and we decided to put it number five. But number four, it's going to be Mind Eraser. 
Now, I know that this ride technically isn't open, and if we would have visited the park, say, five years ago and done this ranking, there is a high likelihood that Mind Eraser could have been last on this list. Um, from everything that we have heard, the ride was absolutely awful. It was incredibly rough, very jarring, and if you've ever ridden a bad SLC, you probably have a pretty good idea as to what this felt like. Now, with some track work and new trains, I highly anticipate that to come up drastically in the rankings. But number three, Tantrum. Now, this Gerslauer Eurofighter is uh, its actually the identical layout to um, Steel Shark down in uh, Galveston Pleasure Pier. And this ride um, obviously doesn't have uh, the Gulf of Mexico as a scenic backdrop. But what this ride does do well is uh, the actual view. You know, again, there's no water, but the green track, the orange supports, it plays very well in the area of the park that uh, the tantrum is located. Uh, it is a spectacle to be able to watch. You get that same type of vertical, or, uh, you know, beyond vertical drop that you would get on like a B&M dive coaster. And we all know B&M dive coasters are all the craze right now and in installing mini dives for parks because they are so aesthetically pleasing to watch. Tantrum kind of achieves the exact same goal of having something aesthetically pleasing to watch. Um, it does a fair job of cycling through riders, and above all, it is incredibly smooth. Very fun ride, tantrum number three. But moving on to number two, Ride of Steel. Now, I know this is not going to be popular, to have Ride of Steel down at number two. If you're doing the math, you're probably trying to figure out, well, if Ride of Steel is number two, then what is number one? Um, you're probably at this moment starting to realize what I put at number one and maybe not even listening to what I'm saying about number two. But this is not better than the Six Flags America version in both mine and Allie's opinion. Um, although we did have a special guest appearance from Water, uh, and that was cool. I did appreciate that. I actually felt like the ride quality on the Six Flags America version is um, noticeably superior. I felt like we went through the layout at a faster clip on the version at Six Flags America. The airtime hills hit better at Six Flags America. And maybe just an overall sense of speed was better there too. But number one, Predator. I know, guys, you're probably thinking, how in the heck did Predator manage to be number one? Fair question, and I'll give you my answer. It's called GCI Titan Track. And if you have not been to Darien Lake, if you have not ridden Predator, let's try to get you some comparables. If you've ever been to Michigan's Adventure and rode sections of um, Wolverine Wildcat, that also has a GCI Titan track, as well as if you've ever been to Lake Compounds and gotten a ride on Boulder Dash, that also features large portions of GCI Titan track. Now, GCI Titan track, it looks a lot like, um, RMC iBox track, for lack of better descriptive terms. However, they don't change the layout. This is solely to be able to replace wooden track for longevity and a benefit to the maintenance department in um, lowering prohibitive costs to keep that ride running. So uh, I really didn't know what to expect. I am a huge fan of Charles Din uh, wooden roller coasters and, and obviously those designed by uh, Mr. Summers, but I didn't expect to like it this much. Uh, I thought that Predator was fantastic. I thought it was fast-paced. Um, it was incredibly smooth. And if anything, I want to see more GCI Titan Track on Predator because I think it's just going to continue taking that ride experience up and up and up. Um, and yeah, I'm thrilled about it. I am excited to know that Predator is going to be in that park for many, many years to come. 
and hopefully in the near future with a you know 80 percent 90 percent maybe even a full titan track replacement um furthermore i would like to see some of the other parks utilize this gci titan track because it's amazing and it really provides a huge difference in the ride quality for some of these older wooden roller coasters and you know look i am just as big of a fan of rmc as the next guy however rmc isn't for everyone and that's something we need to keep in mind but guys if you enjoy content like this please consider uh, liking the video and most importantly drop a sub for the channel it's the best way to be able to help us moving forward uh, get our content out to more people so any help that you can offer us up in that accord it would be greatly greatly appreciated guys uh, please let me know in the comments below what do you think how do you rank the coasters of darien lake and uh, that's gonna do it for us today till next time guys we'll see you out there